What's going on everybody, C4 here. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is more of a preview showcase of the first ever, and as far as I know, Madden 21 mod. This is the Start Today mod. This is the mod that I'm going to be using in tomorrow's video, the debut video of our end game at Madden 21 main channel franchise. Now you can get access to this Start Today mod on the Franchise Football Community Discord, which will be linked in the description below. That's the best Discord. These are the dudes that hook me up with the Flashback franchises, the Hawaii Warriors. Anytime I do pretty much anything that's kind of cool in Madden on PC, it's that all the guys there, all the guys that are working on all the different kinds of mods. So definitely go check that out. Tell them C4 sent you. Um, but for this Start Today mod, firstly, before we go anywhere, it's only on PC. If you have the financial means to play Madden on PC and you're a franchise predominant, because if you play online modes, the, the population's not that big. It's not like it is on console. But if you are strictly a franchise guy and you, you want these mods and you have a legit PC, it's absolutely worth going out and getting. Uh, hell, I would even say if you want to just kind of get your beak sweat, get Madden 20 because there's a lot more mods out for Madden 20 if you want to kind of get the idea of what this mod community can do for these games. So what you get in this mod, this Start Today mod, you get a lot of little things. So you start week one of the preseason in 2021. Therefore, they've fully gone and done the essential 2020 seasons like it's already been played. Everything is right in line with where it was. The entire season has been replicated. Game results, award winner, Super Bowl winner, retirement, all that has been done. They've also gone ahead and did the entirety of the offseason. Free agents, drafts, UDFA, all has been done. We're just here with the Kansas City Chiefs. You can see they got Orlando Brown, they got Tooney, you got Creed Humphrey on the offensive side of the ball. Defensively, you got Big Star and Nick Bolton. He's a really good pickup for them. So... Uh, all of those have been done. The rookie ratings aren't mine, but as a, you know, especially for me, someone that's a little bit of a ratings hipster, uh, they look good. They look really, really good. So it's a solid group of rookie ratings that you guys are going to have a lot of fun with. Nothing too egregious. Nothing that a lot of people are going to be like, oh, that rating sucks. Stuff like It looks good. Um, numbers have been updated as it comes in. There's going to be updates to this because now with all the brand new number changes, that's something that's just a little bit tedious and the work has been done for you as long as their number change has been official. Um... The coaching contracts, all that stuff has been up to date. You know at the end of a franchise, if you want to fire your coach, you have to go look at the available coaching pool. It's always just random generated guys. They have current coaches that are free agents. Also, um, this is going to be a franchise file. It has to be offline only. Can't be online. So when you load it up, it's going to kind of look like this. And I will say this also. I suck with like using mod tools and everything like that. It took me literally three minutes to set this up. It's very, very simple to do so. But when you load it up, you might be like, I don't want to be the Chiefs. So what you got to do is you're going to click the right stick there and go to create. You Obviously, you have to create a new character and then you have to go back with Andy Reid if you don't want to be the Chiefs and you'd go to user management and just retire him so you're not controlling the Kansas City Chiefs. But when you do this, they also have all the brand new coaches are lined up for Philadelphia. We got Nick Sirianni. For Atlanta, we got Arthur Smith. For, look, they've got Urban Meyer, for God's sakes, and his headaches, you know? Urban Meyer and a bag of Advil to help him out. Um, what else had a new coach? Uh, we got Salah there with the Jets. Um, the old Dan Campbell chew off some kneecaps with the Lions. Oh, my God. Is that not the expert's dad? They look like they're related. Um, so, yeah, they have all the fully updated uh, coaching trees. So, literally, it, it's, it, it's at, at the risk of sounding like the clickbait YouTubers that I despise. This is Madden 22, essentially. It's basically that. And this is, uh, not only do they just, you know, we've seen this before. You can probably still find rosters for the most part that will have the draft classes in it, right? And then have all that stuff. And you still look, has the free agency pool, still, you know, all these guys, some big names that are looking to sign on with some teams. But the biggest thing, I think, going into the next season is, I don't know if you know this, kind of modified the schedule this year. They have come out and said this, it's going to be 17 games versus 16 games. And what have they done? Oh, they've just figured out how to do that as well. So it has something to do with the preseason games. You now only have two official preseason games. But when you go to the regular season, with your one bye, you have a 17-game schedule. Works out good. No issues, no bugs, no crashing. You now have a full, playable 17-game schedule in Madden. So I, I don't know what else you could ask for this late in a Madden cycle to give you just that little bit of like, give me something to do. Until the new Madden comes out. Especially right now when it looks like Madden 22 is going to be released a little bit later. 
Like, usually we've been getting it in July. It's looking like it's going to be end of August. You know, it's all speculation at this point. But we've had literally zero Madden 22 news. So, if you want something that's kind of forward-thinking, something that is up-to-date with the world of football, and also ties it into a Madden, you absolutely need to go check out this Start Today mod. I don't think I'm missing anything else here. See, I got the little uh, the notes. Uh, we got, uh, yeah, the rec replicate of the season, get the UDFAs, draft, free agent moves, 17 games, all contracts are completely accurate, including rookie contracts. Uh, there's also, uh, you get access to draft classes. They have the 2022, 2023, and 2024 draft class files that work in tandem with this. They're not my draft class files. There are files that another dude made for Madden 20 that got ported over to 21. I haven't checked those out yet, but they're available because I know that's a big thing for franchise. This year, I took a step back really on my draft class files just because it's like a once in a lifetime season with all the super seniors returning. It basically came a point of like when I had to update my draft classes, it literally, I had to like recreate it because so many seniors were going back to school. It was like, oh man, this is not going to be fun. So um, that has already been done. They've updated the, the roster limits. You can now have up to 84 players on your preseason roster, 55 once it gets into the regular season as opposed to the 53. So it's kind of in line with all the brand new rule changes. So everything in between, man, this is as clean of a mod this is as good as it's going to get uh, this is you know I, I almost hope that it's not like madden 22 hopefully we get a lot more new features and it's you know not just a yeah, another year of them kind of changing the menus and maybe your coach won't be a ghost every other week when it's just a floating phone back there but absolutely go check out the franchise football community discord go tell them c4 sent you and say i want that start today mod for my madden 21 pc game so that will do it for me today guys Go check this out. I cannot wait to dive into our new Madden 21 main channel franchise team tomorrow. I think you guys are going to like it. And uh, I'll see you guys then. So as always, first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button because we're gearing up for a big Madden 22 season, trying to work our way up to 150,000 subscribers. So if you did enjoy this video and it is your first time stopping by, you already know, we're just getting ready. We're just starting to get some momentum. If you want to see tomorrow's main channel franchise, stay tuned to your sub boxes. Let me know in the comment section below if you've used this mod, what's your favorite team to use in this mod, what do you think will be my main channel franchise team tomorrow, and just give me a little bit of a chat. Truly yours, your biggest fan, it's C4. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.